Hello guys, it's Unders here for Warrior Sound Beats. Now I got a question which was really simple. It was how do you make that sub bass you use in a lot of your beats? Um, I use Harmer in FL Studio. I've got a preset, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I construct that in Harmer so you can use it as well. Let's get into the video. What's up guys, it's Unders here for WarriorSoundBeats.com Come and I'm just going to show you guys how I make my sub bass that I use in a lot of my beats just using Harma. And um, it's actually really, really simple to do, but seems to elude a lot of you. So let's have a look here. What I've got up is just a drum loop, nothing else. Not even sent to a mixer track. Let's get Harma up, and I'm just going to send it to one of my bass tracks here, probably 11. So we just pressed. F8 to get the viewer up. We're going to grab Harma and we're going to drop you just there, mate. Bosh. So, by default, it is the wonderful default preset we all love. Let's really quickly get some kind of bass line going in and I will fast forward in magic time for you guys. All right, so we've got the most basic of basic bass lines in. Um, what we'll do, we'll reset this right here so we'll go cool so we've defaulted it and the default i think it's just a sign a uh, saw wave right oh that's awful right so first thing we need to do is make a single harmonic let's just bring up a little harmonic jazzy thing on the side here so if we click on the saw wave it gives us our little harmonic thing and that's how we make a saw wave in harmer it's just basically all frequencies together. What we need to do is take this little point here and drag that right down. And then we're gonna make another point over here and we're gonna drag that right down. So we've just got like this tiny little triangle at the end. Oh, still making just a, a horrible, horrible pitched up noise, right? If we now go to frequency, we're gonna click up the end frequency by four. Now we're going to bring this even further back. We're going to zoom in. We're going to do this so we've only got two harmonics left. And we're going to push this up by six now. Go up one more, we'll push it up by seven just to knock it into the sub octave. So that's the basic gist of how I do it. I'll sometimes take it a little bit further just as a single harmonic, depending on what we're after. Um, if you add a bit of curvature and bring the extra harmonic in, you can kind of get some like distorted sound going on too. Notice, depending on the curve, dictates uh, how strong that harmonic is. So we can bring three in, but have them really subtle. Or have them really harsh. something like that with effects I'll then generally just go into like a classic and just push it really gently if we then go back into the envelopes we're going to get into volume we're going to enable this envelope uh, we drag this back and just give it a little bit of a curve in make sure it sustains right at the top and quite a quick decay
And that is it. That's how I'm creating the sub bass using Harmer. Super simple. We're bringing it almost down to being a, a single sine wave um, just with some extra harmonics in there just to give a little bit of top end content. If you're layering it with another bass, it really is best just to bring it down to the single harmonic and give it a curve like that. And if you're laying it with another bass as well, um, generally take distortion off so it's just the sign. The reason in here I leave a little bit of a decay is it stops pops and clicks just by having that decay. If you've got a really rapid fire bass line, um, something like when you're going 140 on like a drill track, so you've got sort of that distorted 808 type feel. If you're layering it with that, you want a really quick attack, but you still need to have a nice smooth um, attack. Um, no, it's, you need to have a nice smooth attack like we've got here where it rolls in rather than just snaps in. And you'll need to have a bit of a roll off on the release as well, or you'll just get pop, 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 pop. It can work in the mix, but sometimes if you're doing like a solo section, it just sounds awful. That's the way to fix that. So I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking the video.